everyone. As you can see, I'm in Little Off Lock today. Uh, I've got a load from Coventry to Bedford and back up to Lutterworth to go to Lincoln. I haven't got my little woofy today. Dollar's still in bed, fast, fast asleep. Um, but I've got some exciting news. Look at this. How cool is this? Oh, you can't even see. Damn it, hang on. Let me get my torch. She's double GoProing! So, uh, I'll hopefully get some more shots and then you can actually see me drive. Which is probably going to be quite embarrassing. But, we're going to head off or else I'm going to be late. Uh, but it's the first job of the year. So, let's go. So, I have not actually been to this farm in ages. Dad stole this job off me. Um, last time I came here is when I had the night out, I think. Hang on. What? There used to be a house there. What? The no. There used to be a house there. People were living in that house. It feels like I'm at the wrong farm because there used to be a house there. What the? Oh, this is weird. <laughs> oh dear, that's really throwing me off. <laughs> so I'm back in there, but I just need to spin it round. That's completely thrown me off. That is so weird. You probably, I don't know if you'll be able to see that in the video. That's really odd. Huh. I can't believe that. Right, Bex, concentrate and back up to the, back up to where you're going. So, um, <laughs> that's completely thrown me. <laughs> we'll uh, back up to here. Now I'm in the little lorry. I know actually when to stop because I got, hang on, I'll put that down. And I'm pretty sure once that goes over the little lip, I'll feel it in a minute. That's when I stop. There's a bit of a lip here somewhere. only got 13 on still so thrown me <laughs> um, yes yeah, so I've only got 13 on um, unlucky for some I know some farm was one farmer that refuses to have 13 on the lorry but um, no so I've got a five five and a three quite simple really um, so yeah now we are heading to Bedford so I should be there but I like time seven about half eight time so not too far now whoever drives this dab that's right in front of me we're just having a whale of a time i've given him the song old mcdonald um so whoever you are you've bloody made my day so thank you um i don't know if you can see but you you've got a pretty little thing trailer on so honestly if you drive that daft You've honestly made my day and you'll be on my YouTube, but I wish I got all that on video. So I'd just like to point out that we're on a bit of a wonk. Uh, I've stuck my GoPro down tape because um, the GoPro sticker thing doesn't stick to the dashboard. So you should see it. It's full of tape right now. But what I was trying to say is those uh, air horns that you just heard me playing singing to, because old McDonald goes really well with my job. Um, uh, I'm from Cuda. Uh, they are the the 19 tuned ones. They're really cool. I haven't actually gone through them all. Real clever. Um, but yeah, I normally stick it on Old McDonald's because it's so much more relatable to my job. Um, Dad absolutely loves them. He'll go play them all over the country. Um, he'll, he'll go up and down and then everything, he absolutely loves them. 
But if you go on CUDA's website um, and want to have anything off their website, if you use the code Becky10, that gives you 10% off everything, which is uh, really, really cool. So um, this is where I can say goodbye to my friend. I'm going Bedford um, and he's messaged me. He's going Dunstable. Um, so this is where we say goodbye. He's followed me all the way down from when I last met. Uh, when was it? Like Northampton. So he stayed behind me. And don't let me wonder. I bloody love my horns. Love my horns. Yeah. So um, off he goes. So I'll see him later. <laughs> Friends. I love it when you make a friend on the road. Well, you probably might know me. And I'm like, I don't know who you are. But now I do because he messaged me. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love making friends on the road. I need a way. <laughs> I hope it's not busy. Oh, look. really that bothered about aunties. I just find it amusing how they try. But um, I'm gonna pull in here and um, I'm gonna sign in and then go and unload. <laughs> so I've just pulled into Bedford. I'm just driving around to uh, unload. Um, I was having a lovely conversation with the security guard. Love the security guard here. He's lovely. Um, still really need my Wii, but I know there's no one waiting to unload, so I'll unload and go for a wee wee. I'm so bad in the mornings, I'll have like a tiny cup of tea, like I'm not even joking, that big, got a tweeny cup and everything, and within an hour of me going down the road, I need a wee. It's like, obviously my bladder is the size of a, a peanut. <laughs> Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, y'all. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, y'all. Negative. So I've just finished washing out. You know what? Don't look too bad. Hair's a bit frizzy, but I'm not trying to pull anyone, so we're all good. Um, I'm gonna wait here for another 10 minutes because I'm not meant to be at my farm until 11.30. Now I might text him and say, can I be a bit earlier? Because I don't particularly want to stop again. Um, or I'll have my break at the farm. I haven't decided yet, but um, I might have a 15 minute here now because there's no one waiting to wash out so I might have it here and then drive to the farm have half an hour and load up but I'm going to text him now to see if I can come earlier just to sit there for a bit
Greg James will say. Double GoProing! <laughs> I'm nearly at my farm. Um, to be honest, it's been quite a boring journey up. Not like this morning where I made a friend. I'm still recording on both. This is going to look really odd. Um, I probably look stupid. My GoPro is taped down with green tape. You, you guys might be able to see it. You guys can't. Um, because the GoPro stand doesn't actually stick on the dashboard, which is fantastic. But um, yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've just sat here for the past five minutes. Having a rave to radio one. Um, so yeah, I've just rang the gate. Yeah, I'm in the right gear. Just rang the gate, obviously the gate's open for me. Um, look at the sheep. I, I've had actually a few comments saying, oh, do I haul sheep? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, we do mostly cattle, um, so don't do many sheep, uh, mainly sheep sales. Dad has actually got a load of sheep tomorrow, but I'm on cattle again tomorrow, so I'm not doing sheeps. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna come down here. Uh, it's probably not ready. Um, the sheep have brought the electric fencing down, which isn't very helpful. Um, why did the sheep cross the road? To get to the other side! <laughs> what is wrong with me today? Oh, I don't even care. It's January 2023. Brand new year. Woo! Reverse to where we load up. There's no point in showing you because you've seen it loads and loads of times. Uh, this is the person who does the wagons. Which I showed you the other time, the other week or so, yeah, something like that. So I made a TikTok while I was waiting. Very entertaining. I do like to entertain. This is probably the only time I make TikToks is when I'm waiting to either wash out or load up or unload. Mainly load up or wash out. But um comes and taste and taste. <laughs> <coughs> I would pick the GoPro up but you're stuck to the dash to show you the Wagyu so I'll go on the I'll do it on this oh look there there's the Wagyu's on that side uh, oh look there's a happy Wagyu there I feel like I need to clean clean the lorry this is only the old of love bit love love so um, I'm gonna go and load up because he's just put his manatee there I'm gonna go and load up now so I'm just filling in my paperwork. Um, obviously, it looks a bit like this. A lot of them, we can't even see that. Um, a bit like that. So a lot of them are pretty much the same. You have to fill in the same things. Like my holier name is St Mary's, my ABM number, which is the number that I've described on the previous video. Um, cattle aren't standing still. Um, which is your livestock number, vehicle registration. Poor little Love Love has a doesn't have a um, a private plate, so it's VX04 AZW. I don't have a trailer, so I just put a line through that. And the time I loaded on the farm was 11, and that's all you have to do, pretty much. Um, so normally you have to sign it, but on the on my sheet to Lincoln. Uh, I don't have to sign, which is fine. So um, we're going to set exciting, so exciting. Ah, but I can't tell you yet. No, oh. but um, yeah, I'm gonna get these dropped off. Um, a few of them a little bit quick. So he told me to run. Oh, great advice that is, run. Okay, because I can't stand behind these doors. Um, like I'll do specials, I just haven't had the time yet, which is really bad, I know, I know it's really bad. Um, I just haven't had the time, thank you, um, to do to, to these special videos of what the inside of a livestock box like is like and whatnot. Um, I know you guys are asking me these things, but give me time, I just need some time. I haven't had a lot of time. Look, sheep. Meh. 
Oh, I'm in such a good mood, you don't understand. So I've just finished washing out, um, I'm going to head home now, I don't know if I've shown you, look how I've taped my GoPro down, because <laughs> it won't stick, actually that's my boyfriend's, I'm on mine at the moment, um, I've just got a lorry washing out next to me, <laughs> my hands quite smell, I'm not going to lie, um, so yeah I'm going to head home and I don't need to fill up because I'm not using it tomorrow dad's doing a few jobs on it tomorrow so yeah just have to park it up so um, we'll get going home so I've just pulled into the yard as you can see I'm just reversing now um, I've taken my I've already taken my wellies and leggings out because I'm not gonna lie I couldn't be able, I couldn't be asked to walk all the way over there so we'll back it up park it up I'll do there um, and take my taco out, fill my paperwork in, take you off my head and um, we'll head home. Um, as you can see, well, I'm in my brum tomorrow. Can't wait. I love my brum. Um, yeah, I'm in that tomorrow. Um, I forgot how many pickups I've got, but I'm going to Spalding tomorrow. So yeah, that should be good. I've only got the single, oh, you can't even see. Um, I've only got the single decker, so 
shouldn't be too bad but it's been very windy today on the way back um, but yeah I will see you guys tomorrow good morning peeps um, as you can see I'm in the single decker today like I told you last night um, just doing walkie, walkies round um, I've got three pickups today um, I start off the other side Lutterworth then the other side Lutterworth again um, and then I'm heading towards Leicester for my third pickup and head to Spalding I've got my second GoPro already set up in um, in the cab already so um, I'm just gonna finish my walk around checks and we will get going so as you'll see in a minute as I go around this bend that um, I'm gonna go through a seven and a half ton weight limit um, the reason for this is because there is no other way I can get to the farm I thought he was gonna pull out in front of me um, the, the farm is in a seven and a half ton weight limit so I, I, they're not gonna walk the cattle to me because it's it's still quite a far way into the seven half ton weight limit so sometimes we do actually have to go down these roads um a lot of car drivers moan about this but i literally have no other choice a lot of farms are on seven half ton weight limits because the roads aren't suitable obviously for heavy goods but again i can't help this one bit um so yeah this is why we have to go down them so as you can see, that I don't think this road's at all bad. Like I've been down worse roads and narrower roads with this and the Decker. This is actually a fairly wide road. Um, it's just obviously the corners. And if you drive like an absolute idiot, then you will have an accident. You just gotta drive sensible along these sort of roads because you can't be tearing around corners and everything like that. Um, obviously you're the bigger vehicle so yeah i personally wouldn't want to go on the grass because i would get stuck <laughs> um i will sink and because we've had a lot of rain um i don't particularly want to go on there because i physically can't push this out myself uh, i'd have to have a toe <laughs> so i'm about 10 minutes early which is fine because it takes me about 10 minutes to turn it around that's the farm i'm going to um i need a wee <laughs> Oh dear. So we're just pulling here. I don't know if he's ready for me. I'll know if he's ready for me because the gate will open or else I have to get out and open it myself. So hopefully he'll see me come in. The hedge needs trimming. Not knock the bins out as I go round, which I'm not done. Mind the pylon which we have done we've missed that we're on the grass and we're skidding there we go we've got traction no nope. there we go we're now got traction uh don't think he's seen me because the light isn't flashing on the gate so um i should think i'll be jumping out and putting the gate code in if i can find it in my stash of gate codes i oh, see me now oh, look at that that's good <laughs> Now I've decided my better option is blindsiding it. Whether this is going to be the better option, I do not know. But we'll um, we'll give it a go. I'm just gonna see if my trailer's actually pointing in the right direction because I can't see it. Hope so. If I lock it now. Should be good, but then I've got a concrete panel here. If it goes bang, we know we've done we've done it wrong. <sighs> Dear. Oh yeah, we've got loads of room. Thank you for keep doing good. <laughs> No, we're not doing very well.
Right. Decided I have done it this time. Um, spin. Hey, look at that. Not in one, but not too far away. He's not ready because he's not come out of the house yet. Hi, Miss. Are you doing your food? I oh, look hungry. Oh, you got spud. You got spud. You enjoying that? <laughs> Happy move. So um, as you can see, I'm just coming through the middle of Latterworth. They've still got the Christmas lights up. Um, how long do you keep your Christmas trees up and Christmas de decorations up? I'm pretty much straight after Christmas, they're gone. A lot of people keep them up all January, don't they? I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm just coming through the middle of Latterworth. I'm about 10 minutes away from my farm. So not too bad, um, but yeah, we'll get, I've got eight to pick up, so I don't know how I'm gonna load them yet. I haven't figured that bit out, which is probably something I need to do quite quickly. <laughs> so I'm literally just coming to my farm entrance now. Uh, wherever it is, somewhere along here. Um, I can't come here with, oh, he's getting his sheep in with his dog. Um, I can't actually get in here with Tiny Tag. Um, the reason being <laughs> is because I nearly ripped my mud, mud guards off. Um, so yeah, let's just be quiet so they can get the sheep in. Uh, pull in. Yeah, it's quite a fair drop. There we go, we're in. Um, yeah, so, yeah, and I, I nearly ripped the mud guards off there, uh, hence why I tiny tag. Can't come down here, even with the air dumped right down so I can get out. No, it still tries and rips them off, so. I was gonna bring tiny tag because it was already hitched up, but I had to, had to change, so, um, yeah. Well, we'll uh, I'll go all the way around and blah, blah. So the farmer is actually behind me. He pulled out behind me as I went past um, his junction. So I'll pull in and I back in between those two buildings there. So I'll pull in. Oh, I still hate electric gates. I really hate electric gates. Um, it's quite tight to come out because it's e a lot easier in tiny tag. Let me get it. But you have to mind that post in the hedge there. It's quite, it's quite narrow. So I'll pull it round here. Pull it round. Some shire horses there. Um, and then I just back down there. So we're just going to try and get out now. He's moved his pickup for me, which is really handy. So I'll do a big swing out to obviously miss the building, but I want to get tight to the building to miss the gate and everything. So I it still stays tight to the building because I've, I've turned it in quite tight. Um, this, again, it's so much easier in tiny tag. So last time, last time I came here, I scratched my old trailer. Oh, that was quite easy actually. Um, we're in the holly bush there, but no, that was quite good. So I've just put eight on. Um, I've done a six and a two. Um, so when I get to the next farm, I've got another eight to put on. So I'll put a three and then a five on the back. Oh, I so hate electric gates. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're going through now. Um, so yeah, we'll just pull around here. There was bins here. Like I'm hoping they've been moved because I need that bit. <laughs> no, oh, no. 
because to miss this because it's all caving in here so I'm just gonna have to no I don't matter if I hit them they're empty oh just missed them ah there we go and let's go all the way down the drive and head out it's all good we're not going too far into this seven and a half ton weight limit because uh, my farm entrance is just here so I'll pull pull down here spin it round um, fairly long drive so um, I'll spin it round still need a wee <laughs> and um, oh I really need a wee I really need a wee so I'm just pulling out I've got six on just pulling down this farm track now um, all, all six went in the front section so that's okay um, I'm now heading to the other side Lutterworth uh, for an eight so I think that lorry's lost it's a foreigner I think he's lost because the road's shut and it's <sighs> anyway I'm going to head to the other side of Lutterworth now so I'm just pulling up the drive um, they've all got their sheep in now which is really good so last time I, when I pulled in um, they all ran away because I pulled in which probably wasn't the best idea but I had to get off the road um, so they're all in now ready to be picked up um, we're gonna head towards Leicester now uh, so we're gonna head towards Leicester up this big bank of a thing that I can't bring tiny tag in and go uh, and spin and off we go let's go so I've just spun did a spin 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 round and um, I had to take this GoPro off because he was videoing me and that, that, that just a little bit awkward I'm not used to people looking at me with a GoPro on my head still feeling a bit weird but I'm hoping I'll get used to that one day but um yeah I'm gonna he's carrying a shed um I'm going to load up now so I'm gonna put my eight on so I've just loaded up um just filling in my paperwork now this is what I fill in at the bottom here now oh, it's the name of Haulia, St Mary's. Um, Hall Farm Assurance number um, is 105. Vehicle reg is um, bull. Um, my trailer number is SMT TR3. Uh, loading time, uh, I'll put 12.45. And then here at the bottom, I have to sign it and date it which is the 5th of the 1st 23 not 22 anymore 23 and i've done that on all three of my sheets because i've had three pickups so every farmer has to have a sheet obviously so they put their passport numbers down and everything like that so um we're gonna head off and we're gonna head to so i'm gonna tell you what i've got on so i picked up a six first which means i've got the six in the front and then um, I picked up an eight where I did a six uh, and then a two. And then I had to go and pick up another eight, which means I put a three in with the two and then I put five on the back. So that makes 22. Uh, I can get 25 of these ones on. Um, so yeah, I'm not fully loaded. Uh, I've got all the sections used um, so yeah not too bad so a little bit about my pride and joy old fool you get it if uh, I can't say it because it's a bad word if you look at the number plate you'll know what it you, you know what it uh, says um, so that's that's its name it wasn't meant to say that it was meant to say bull some areas transport uh, but no no everybody's um everybody's named it you get the gist so um my this is my lorry um, well i normally drive this one i've got all my stuff in it um it's a 16 speed manual um it's not an automatic it's a manual i'm just gonna do a roundabout steady 
yeah so it's a 16 speed manual 510 um i actually um did all the spec of this myself so we bought it brand new um i did a week's work experience at ford and slater and as a joke i uh i specced a lorry and gave it to dad um it took him six months to decide but um he did decide to have the one i actually specced um one thing i should have done i was obviously i didn't really know at the time now i would have specced one with a tag not a mid lift but every all of our lorries used to have mid lift so that's why we just went for a standard mid lift um but in hindsight again i should have had a tag uh, I would have had a twin tank because they look bigger. Um, but yeah, it was top spec for the year. It's a 66 plate. Um, it's done 347,752 k's. Um, we mainly just do locals, so that's why it doesn't have a high amount of kilometres. And plus, I'm in all the lorries, I'm in different lorries. So, um, um, so I'm swapping and changing, that's why there's not a lot on there. Uh, what else? What else is there to tell you about this? Uh, not a lot. I do a um, proper tour of it once I get something in it. Uh, I'm just waiting for them to be shipped over. Um, so hopefully I'll do a proper tour of it once I've got all the stuff that I've ordered, well, my boyfriend's ordered in the lorry and I'll give you a proper look around um, and like, I'll do the same with the trailers the little lorry so I'm just letting a big lorry out lorry out off the wash so then I'll go backwards where the fuck are people oh my god uh, so I'll go backwards Biddy, beep, biddy, beep, beep. Because uh, I want to back on the dock here, but we have to like kind of do a a wiggle to get on the dock. Uh, you sort of like jackknife it on. So, so we do a wiggle to try and get the trailer in the best possible place. So we've done our wiggle. There we go. Wiggle's complete. And then. We stick it in reverse again, and then we jackknife it off. Now, if Becky's in a good mood, she'll get it in one. She hasn't driven an Arctic in a while. It goes pear-shaped. I don't really know where this tractor trailer's gone. Oh, she's booked it. Damn it! Damn it. Nearly had it. I'm glad you could do that. So I just finished washing out. I'm gonna you spin me right round, baby, right round like a record, baby. Thank you. Um, just gonna spin round as you probably guessed from what I was singing, um, and then back straight onto the wash. Beep 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 beep. So yeah quite simple and then um so I'm gonna go back um and I can keep going back until the rubber things stop me and then I'm gonna put my ramp down and then I'm gonna put some pound coins in the wash because you have to pay I'm gonna wash out that is what I'm gonna do so I've just finished washing out um it took a while because it was stuck on um, grabbing a drink. I've got a banging headache so I'm gonna have a really quiet drive all the way back home but it doesn't take very long. Only an hour and a half. So um, I'm gonna take a 
painkiller and just get going home. So I've just pulled back in the yard. Um, I'm just going backwards. What's that? Nothing. Um, oh, concentrate back because you can, you're going to hit the deck and that's not a good idea. Um, yeah, so, so what I was saying, I've just pulled back in the yard and just, um, just backing up. They're having a rave over there. That'll do. Um, I'll pull my card. And that's it. Um, I fill in my paperwork and everything. And uh, we're finished. So um, I guess I'll see you guys next week. I know it's been a really boring week. Hopefully it'll pick up. Um, during January it's really dead for us anyway um, it just always is every year it's always quite dead on it in January after Christmas so uh, we just keep pottering along but hopefully I'll get those special videos out to you and um, we'll, we'll get some different videos um, I am going to an open day which I am allowed to video and that'll be quite cool because uh, it will give you an insight of all the new trailers and everything. So um, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you next week.